So, you want to sell editable templates on Etsy, Shopify or WooCommerce? Any of these platforms can host and you can sell digital products on. Now you arrive to the step where you have to choose an editing platform where your final clients can edit their designs and they can personalize them. Uh, and after that they can download it and print it by themselves. At the moment of filming this video, there are three major platforms that are competing for your designs. The first one is Canva, the second one is Template, and the third one's name I will butcher somehow because I never, I can never pronounce it, and the third one is Corjl or something like that. In today's video we will take a look at all three of these platforms and we will compare them on a few criteria. You already know that I use Canva for my designs because uh, you can see that I pay for Canva Pro and uh, I pay not just for my account but I also pay for my designer's account because she's in my team. Uh, I used template in the past and I did the, the cordial free trial so I have somewhat of an experience with all three platforms. And at the end I will tell you uh, based on the niche that you picked which of these three platforms is the best to use. So stick around if you would like to find out that. Hi, welcome! If you haven't met yet, my name is Emesha from Everything Digital and here on this channel I talk about the digital products making money online and business finance. And without any further ado, let's talk about the three editing platforms that are competing in today's market. Canva, Template and Korsh. Let's go! So, uh, let's talk about these three platforms. I also created some graphics that I will put uh, right here on the screen so that you can uh, follow along. So, the first uh, feature that we will talk about is the pricing. And let's start with Canva. Canva also has a free version, but they also have a pro subscription that I use, as I mentioned it uh, a few seconds ago. And the price for Canva Pro is $12.99 a month per person in your team. If you are alone, that would be $12.99 and that's it. This is for the monthly uh, payment, not the annual subscription. Template has multiple plans, but I cannot find the link where they display all of their plans. But I found that they, their subscription starts at $29 a month. On top of that, they charge a $0.65 cent transaction fee for each design that you sell with uh, that can be edited on their platform. I find the subscription fee quite high and uh, considering that this is only the starting amount, $29 a month for a beginner uh, is quite high. And when you are just starting out and not making any sales, it is not even guaranteed that you will recoup that uh, $29 plus the Etsy fees and plus the other fees from your sales. Now let's move on to Korsh. Sorry if I cannot pronounce this any better, but cordial it will be for the rest of this video. Um, cordial pricing starts at $7.99 a month and um, they also charge a $0.65 cent, uh, transaction fee for this tier. For their other tiers, the transaction fee is uh, lower and lower and lower. I, as I mentioned, the lowest uh, and the cheapest plan is $7.99 a month plus uh, the $0.65 cent transaction fee. The next plan costs $15.99 and they charge a $0.45 cent transaction fee. And for bigger shops, they have a $39.99 plan and in this case, the transaction fee is only $0.30. Cents. These are the prices per month if you pay in advance for the entire year. If you'd like to pay monthly, in that case, the plan start at $9.99 a month and the transaction fee is the same. The next criteria that I would like to talk about is if these platforms have a free trial or not so that you can try out their platform if you like it, if you don't, and uh, you can draw a conclusion uh, before they charge you. Canva has 30 days free trial where you can try all of their pro features. Uh, and they will charge you on the 30, after 30 days for the subscription fee. The template has no free trial at all, you have to pay to try their tools. And Corjal has a 7-day free trial. The next feature that I would like to talk about is related to the e-commerce platforms that they can be used on. Uh, here is no difference between uh, these three editing platforms. 
all of them can be sold on Etsy, on Shopify and on WooCommerce. These are the most commonly used e-commerce platforms that people sell digital products on. And the last feature I would like to talk about if the designs that you create on these platforms can be edited on a mobile device like a phone or a tablet or only on a desktop computer. Canva and Cordial have their own apps so they can be edited on a mobile device too. Unfortunately, template templates can be only edited on a desktop computer or a laptop. Now that we talked about these features, I would also like to talk about my experience regarding these three platforms. Um, when I started out, the first platform that I actually tried was Cordial and I did their 7 day free trial and I believe I paid for one or two months, but I wasn't that big of a fan of their design platforms. Well, this was four or five... no. Well, this was three or four years ago, I am sure they did lots of improvements since then, but I didn't find it as user-friendly at the time, so I cancelled after a few months. After I was finished with Cordial, I found Template. And I signed up, I believe, at the beginning for their starting plan, and after that I upgraded to their middle tier plan. And I was selling quite a few designs with Template, but after... After uh, six months, nine months, something like that, I got fed up with their transaction fees because that is when I found Canva and Canva Pro to be more exact. This meant that uh, I didn't have to pay transaction fees for every item that I sell, I only have to pay their monthly subscription fee. So the hard work began and I had to convert, I believe, 200 designs from template to the Canva platform or I just uh, converted them to PDF files in InDesign and I uh, was selling only the non-editable uh, version of that design or I was editing it for my final clients which was not very lucrative but uh, that's what I did at the time. So and now we come to the present days when uh, I exclusively use Canva as an editable template platform. As I promised in the beginning of the video, I would talk about uh, my choice and my favorite, which is obviously Canva. And uh, the top reasons that I like using Canva is because they only charge uh, the monthly fee. Well, I still pay it monthly, but I could upgrade at this point to the yearly plan because I will stick with Canva unless something more extraordinary comes out, which I doubt. I really like their uh, library of design elements and not just uh, images and graphic elements but uh, also their the little animations and the GIFs and they came out with tables and charts which I'm very happy about. Also you can uh, create folders and you can store all of your designs in those folders and you, they can be easily found even after years. Uh, Recently I had to find a design that I created at the very beginning, like three years ago, and uh, thankfully I was able to type in the keywords that I used in their title and I found the design in a few seconds. And the other great feature that uh, all of... and the last great feature that the other platforms don't have is the Teams feature. Of course, I have to pay for my designer's uh, membership or subscription plan, but that doesn't bother me because we work very efficiently in Canva Pro. So yeah, that was for today's video. Please tell me which of these three platforms do you prefer? Have you tried them all or you just stuck with uh, one of them? If you found uh, this information and this comparison helpful, please give it a a like for the YouTube algorithm, consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video where I talk about digital products, making money online and business finance. And also follow me on Instagram. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye.